It might surprise you, but I once sat on the lap of an Erasmus Prize winner. And I suspect I'm the only one here who can say that. <laughs> Mr. Noah, don't worry, this is not a Dutch tradition that we sit on each other's lap <laughs> after a prize-giving ceremony. So let me assure you, this was a very long time ago when I was just a baby. It was Charlie Chaplin, a close acquaintance of my grandparents and the winner of the Erasmus Prize in 1965. He received it for his contribution to the cinematic arts. But of course, he was much more than a gifted filmmaker. He was first and foremost a great humorist and a brilliant comedian. And that is a talent that connects him to today's laureate. Comedy is a tricky business. The best humor isn't always appreciated by those around you, as I'm sure every father of three daughters will attest. Not being able to make a joke is often the result of fear or uncertainty. It's a kind of mental block. But laughter is liberating. Our laureate, Trevor Noah, knows that better than anyone. He is a master of the liberating laugh. And in his work, he builds bridges between continents, cultures, and generations. An impressive achievement at a time when we're all too eager to stay in our comfort zone and in our echo chambers. As the patron of, Eras, of the Premium Erasmianum Foundation, I'm proud that we're celebrating our 65th birthday with such a young, inspiring laureate from South Africa. It is truly an honor to be standing here as a recipient of this prestigious accolade. And to be honest, it's, it's really a little unbelievable, um, mostly because I never thought there was anything that could bring me to Amsterdam in the winter. <laughs> but also because when I, when I started my career in comedy, I, I never once dreamed that the tiny stage that I was standing on in Johannesburg would become the first piece of an intricate puzzle that would connect me to people from all over the world. As I accept this prestigious award, I do so with a hope. Well, two hopes. Uh, one, that Your Majesty will reconsider, reconsider um, sitting on uh, Laureate's lap. <laughs> and the second hope, that I will continue to use my voice and my platform to foster connection, to spread compassion, and to wield the power of laughter in the face of pain. I implore every single person here, let us remember that our shared laughter is not just a moment of joy, but a symbol of our collective resilience and our unbreakable spirit, even in the darkest of times. To the Royal House of the Netherlands, to the Erasmus Prize, Foundation, and to all of you who believe in the power of connection, compassion, and laughter, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. May we continue to find reasons to laugh together, even in the most challenging times. And P.S., I'm very proud that after 220 years, a South African is able to take a few resources from the Netherlands back to the Cape. Thank you.